Hello there, welcome back to my channel Juella, or if you're new here then welcome to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, this is Rockerbox. Now Rockerbox is a box that I've dipped out of for the last couple of months to be fair. The reason being, I found that for the price I was paying, I wasn't really getting value for money as far as what I was going to use was kind of like to judge it by. However, I promised myself that if I saw a crack and deal, or just if I took if it took me fancy, I would dip back in. And so I have dipped back in this month, guys, but I'm a little late to the party. But my box only came yesterday on Saturday. So I just thought I'd share it with you. So, as you know, Rocker Box is a monthly beauty subscription box. It costs £15 a month plus £2.95 postage, which brings it to £17.95. See, me maths isn't that bad sometimes, but that is mega easy. Anyway, so yeah, if you sign into a 12-month contract, you get the box for £13, plus the postage, obviously, which brings it to £15.95. I don't mind paying £15.95, including the postage, you see, but at the same time, I didn't really want to be roped into 12 months. However, I'm giving Rockerbox one last go because I absolutely loved Rockerbox. I've loved them for five or six years now. I've been one of their biggest cheerleaders, despite the fact when they made the box apparently looks, it seemed to go a little bit downhill for me. It went a little bit off piste and the looks, the looksness, <laughs> the looks factor wasn't really there for me. It just wasn't really doing it. But you know what? I'm giving them one last chance and I've dipped in for a 12 month subscription. So that's it guys, I'm tied in for 12 months. So you're going to see Rockerbox on my channel for the next year. Anyway, the reason I dipped back in, like I say, £13 a month, I got a free box. So if you signed yourself in with a 12 months contract, you got a free box of goodies. Naturally I knew I would probably have all the products in the, in the box because it tends to be a mystery box of things that have been in previous boxes. But I was hoping for things that I mightn't have had. Anyway, I think one item I haven't had, but let's go through it and show you. So this is my mystery box. I'm going to quickly show you that first, just really, really quickly. My favourite pillow spray, Feather and Down. I absolutely love this pillow spray. So that is getting kept. Even though I've got several, it gets used. We've got the Jekka Black Liquid Concealer, which actually I've used that today. I've just got it here. I've used it today and it's the exact same shade, number two. When I first got this in the box, like a couple of months ago, I was a bit disappointed. It came sh shooting out the tube really fast as if it was like a water pistol and I didn't even squeeze the tube. But also the shade doesn't seem quite right. But you know what, once you've got it on your face, it, it's really not that bad if you've got fair to medium skin tone for number two. More kind of edging towards medium skin tone, but on the slight fair side. At least that's what mine kind of is. I'm quite fair. But when I get a tan, I'm kind of medium, so I'm kind of in between. Anyway, I got another one of them concealers, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I might keep it because I don't often buy concealer, and I know that I do use it. I don't often get blemishes and spots, but I use it for other reasons like under my eyes and stuff. Anyway, next product, Figs and Rouge. Quite like this brand, but some of their products are very hit and miss for me. Some of them have got a funny texture. But yeah, anyway, this is something I don't think I've had. I've had something similar, Hydra Matte Pore Correct Velvet Cream. I've had the white one before, but this says blush pink. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to keep it or whether I'm going to put it in a giveaway. I'm really not sure yet because I've got loads of face creams. I don't think I need any more. So yeah, I'm on the fence with this one. Might keep it, might give it away, but still quite a nice product. Then I've got some more Tannin Mousse. This is quite hilarious actually because on the Rockerbox subscriptions you can opt for a no tan subscription or a one with tannin products. I've opted no tan, so no tannin products for me, but my mystery box contained a tannin product, obviously completely chosen at random, which I find quite hilarious. It's not that I can't use them, it's not that they're not suitable for us, it's just that I'm not really that bothered. If I sit out in the sun in the summer, I get a little bit of colour so I'm not too bothered. So yes, I've got another one of these FFS Self Tannin Mousse. Um, I've already got one, exactly the same. And the shade is medium, I believe. I'm just double checking. Um, so yeah, I think this I'll be passing on to somebody because I don't really use fake tan very often and I don't want it to go off. I would rather somebody use it while it's at its best. So that's the fourth product. The fifth and final product is something I'm going to keep and use and it's by Batiste. It's just a dry shampoo, guys. It's full size. It's, yeah, 
it's a lifesaver guys on those days where you can't be bothered to wash your hair or you haven't got time but it's starting to look a little bit on the Ming side it's good to just refresh your roots I personally find people with blonde hair get along with dry shampoo so much better because it's predominantly just talc in your hair you know that's another little trick for you if you ever run out of dry shampoo and you've got blonde hair not so much dark hair because it makes your roots look a bit grey but if you've got blonde hair just pop a little bit of talc on the roots of your hair it absorbs the grease which is basically what dry shampoo is it's talc based just for those of you who didn't know that it's like a spray talc anyway there's obviously other ingredients in it as well but it's it is talc based anyway so yeah i've got a dry shampoo fantastic and i'll be keeping it so i just wanted to quickly show you those five products i got in the mystery box and i got those for free so i'm just going to pop that down next to us you're probably going to hear a crash bang wallop anyway so this is may's rocker box now i wasn't too bothered about getting this month's box because there's actually only a few items that I'm probably going to use and keep and some of them I think I've already got some of them I know I've already got but one of them I'm thinking have I got I'm really not sure so I keep looking down thinking have I got it there I haven't checked yet anyway so the theme this month is be kind what better theme to have for the mental health awareness month of May is be kind so I'm just going to refer to this for sizes and prices and the overall cost of the box not the cost the overall value i'm not sure what the overall value is actually i'm looking at it it doesn't actually say but anyway or does it say does it say more than 118 pounds wow that's quite a good value when you're paying 13 pounds and you're getting 118 pounds of product back that's really not bad anyway first product this is what i think i've already got but i'm happy to get another one if i liked it but i can't remember if i've used it and I can't remember if I've got it. I think I have. It's by Monia Skin and it's a flash relax mask with vitamin C and marine magnesium. So I don't know if you can see it. I'm like trying to show you it, but my ring light's probably not letting you see it. Anyway, so yeah, it's a good little size. I think it's about 50 mils. Yeah, 50 mils. But I'm not sure if I've used it or not, or if I'm, I'm not sure if I've got it. So if it's a duplicate and I'm not too bothered, then it will go in a giveaway or something. Anyway, so that's the first product and it is worth, it's full size by the way, I'm just going to have to refer to the leaflet, it's worth £36. £36 is a lot for 50 mils, I think that's quite expensive. But you know what? It smells nice, I've had a little sniff of it, it's got a nice clean smell. So, next product, this is something I'm definitely not keeping because I got one in my lemonade box last month. This is by Capria Beauty and it's a lash and brow serum. So it helps encourage growth and thickness in your lashes and in your eyebrows. But you have to use it consistently every day for at least eight weeks. Now, I always forget to use products like this, so it's not worth me keeping it. It would just go to waste. I have opened the other one and I used it a little bit here and a little bit there but I'm not using it consistently so I can't expect results so this will get given to somebody who does want to use it consistently and wants to get results and let me know how you get on but yeah it might go in some kind of giveaway or I might do a special giveaway for a few items but this will probably be one of them either that or I might sell it I'm not sure yet it's nice to get a bit of money back for things that you buy and you don't want isn't it so anyway, that's that product. I'll just put them to the side of us when I've shown you. The price of that is £15.90 and it's full size. The next product I really wasn't thrilled with and it's not because I'm a brand snob, but it's just because it's not very good for me. This is by Cetaphil and it is a gentle skin cleanser. It's full size and it's worth £5.99, so super affordable. It's very basic, it's very gentle. For me, I've tried a sample before and it didn't seem to shift my makeup. It didn't seem to make my skin feel very clean. So I really wasn't impressed with it. So yeah, I think this is good for maybe a teenager who doesn't wear a lot of makeup, just as like a basic cleanser. But for me, nearly 40 years old, I need something a little bit better than that, a little bit with slightly better properties. When I say better, I don't mean money. I just mean something that's better for my skin especially because I'm getting older so yeah this product I won't be keeping this will be getting given away so that's the third product the fourth product wow this is really quite different 
this is a brand that we've got i'll just take a little wormy out because there's a little wormy stuck in it when i say wormy i mean shredded paper this is a brand that we got in the uk box this month or was it last month last month it's Warda Skin Care or Varda Skin Care. I don't know how you pronounce the W. If it's pronounced as a W or a V, I'm not sure. So it's Warda Skin Care and it's a Skin Lift Boost Collagen Moisturiser. It's full size and it's worth a whopping £44.90. So size wise, I think it's 50 mils. I'm just going to double check. I don't think I've opened it, you know, and I'm not going to open it to have a sniff because, no, I haven't opened it. The box is all still sealed. If you don't mind, guys, I'm not going to actually open it because I've got loads of moisturisers on the go. However, I think you're supposed to use this in conjunction with the serum, the serum oil that we got in the OK box last month. And apparently you apply this before serum, which is quite strange because moisturiser, you usually find that you apply it after a serum. It's like the final step of skincare for me. But I'm sure it says somewhere, and I haven't even read this book, by the way. I'm just kind of looking at the little, the little leaflet. But I'm sure it says somewhere that you apply it after, no, before a serum, which I'm absolutely confused at. So if you know any more about that, it's as clear as one to me, then let me know. But I'm thrilled to get it to try it. So I will try it at some point this year, but I've got several other moisturizers to finish first. So yeah, full size water skincare, collagen boost moisturizer, with £44.90. If I loved it though, I could not afford to repurchase it. It's as simple as that. It's far too expensive. So yeah, but if I really fell in love with it, might I put it on my Christmas list? Who knows? If it took me frown lines away, then yes, I would. But the chances of that happening are slim. I need Botox in a bottle and I won't do that either. Anyway, so the final product, not including a little freebie, which I'm going to show you. This brand I absolutely love. It's very plain and quite basic in different ways, but I love it. This is Ameliorate Intensive Foot Therapy Cream. So it is a deluxe size and it's worth £16. The size of it is 75 mils. Now I am going to open this and give you a little look. So it's quite a good size, 75 mils isn't bad. But I do have an 100 ml foot cream on the go at the moment. The e cooking one. I actually put it on my feet last night when I got out of the bath. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm not currently going to use this quite yet. But I will be using it very soon. So let's just have a little squirt and see what we think. I'm pretty sure it's going to... I'm just going to put it on my hand because obviously I'm not going to put it on my feet. I'm pretty sure it's going to smell like all of their products. They've got to smell all of their own. Like a bitter baby powder smell. That's the best way I can put it. I like the smell of those. Obviously, I've put it on my hand, but it's for your feet. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll be fine on my hand. So yeah, it's an intensive foot therapy moisturising lotion. Whoops. Jumping out my hands. That's because my finger's greasy. So yeah, um, I'll be happy to try that. I was definitely happy to get it because I have liked the other products by the same brand in the past. So yeah, that is worth £16. So that's all the products guys um, but there is a little freebie as well it's a little Ellie Saab perfume sample now I've noticed Rockerbox you get quite a lot of Ellie Saab perfume samples so they must have a little deal on with those where they get them for free which is fantastic because it gives us a, a way of trying them so it's the girl of now which I absolutely love I've got the full size I'm just going to show you but this is a slightly different take on it it's a different like version so I've got the girl of now one it's beautiful, it's stunning, it's so, so nice. I actually first tried it within Rockerbox because I got a sample, but this is the lovely one, so it's different. And you know what? I haven't got any perfume on, guys, so I'm gonna give it a go and see what we think. It did squirt a little bit out there. Very much like the original Girl of Now, with a slight twist on it, but it's very much like the original. In fact, I don't know what's different about that. I don't know what it says. And of course, I can't really read it. I don't think it says much. But yeah, that smells lovely. Like it says, it's called lovely and it smells lovely. Yeah, that's really nice. But I really don't need any more perfume. So I won't buy any more just yet. But I'll happily get this sample used up. In fact, I might use the rest of it today so that I smell nice. So yeah, that's everything. I'm just going to quickly blast through the products with you, give a little recap and then say toodaloo for now. So we've got the free perfume sample by Ellie Saab. We've got the Ameliorate Foot Intensive Therapy Foot Cream. 
we've got the Cetaphil cleanser very basic and not really for me but that's okay we've got the water skin care collagen boost moisturizer we've got the Capri Ep lash and brow serum and we've got the Monia skin flash relax mask as well not a bad box for 13 pounds you can't really grumble at that i'm grumbling because there's one or two items i won't use and yeah that's about it that's the only reason i'm grumbling so it's my personal preference with that and because i've already got certain items and that's absolutely fine but i think in general it's actually not a bad box this month really not bad quite skincare heavy if i'm honest i would like to see rocker box step it up a notch again with some makeup items but again, that is my personal preference. It used to be very varied across the board with Rockerbox. But I've found over the last six months or so, it's been very skincare orientated. So my personal choice and preference would be, let's say, a few makeup items in. Some lipsticks, some eyeshadow palettes, a mascara. Things like that, really. Something a little bit different as well. Brands that we've not really seen before or don't get very often. That's what I would personally like to see in this box as well as obviously a bit of skincare, a bit of body care, etc, etc. Sneak peek for next month, guys, is by Nip and Fab. It looks like one of the salicylic acid products, which I don't really need, which is great for problem skin, blemish-prone skin, and acne-prone skin, especially if you're a teenager or you've got very oily skin or like very open pores in your skin, large pores. So anyway, it is a salicylic acid um, chemical exfoliant. It's some kind of exfoliant anyway, guys. It's full size, I believe it's in a big pink tube. Anyway, so we'll just see what that's like next month. But I guarantee, I don't think I'll be keeping it. Um, it's definitely for acne. It even says, I'm just reading it now. Haven't looked at this leaflet till now, you see. This can even be used on acne prone skin, which can often be irritated by exfoliants. So it's some kind of exfoliator with salicylic acid. Like I say, salicylic acid is great for blemish prone and oily skin. So that's my rocker box this month guys, sorry that I'm so late at the party and sorry that it's quite a long video but I did have to show you a mystery box as well so it's kind of two boxes in one. Anyway if you got rocker box this month let us know what you thought of it, let us know what your favourite products are. If you didn't get it does this unboxing tempt you to get it or does he kind of sit in there thinking well I'm glad I didn't dip in this month because it doesn't look that good. <laughs> anyway yeah thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.